Back with the Fox News alert, Nathan Wade stepping down after a judge ruled Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis could stay on, but only in the former President Trump's election case, interference case, if Wade did step down, if he resigned. So he did. Willis now remaining and remaining defiant while staying on the case, slamming what she calls, quote, unjustified attacks in the media. But it's not over yet. She's now facing a congressional subpoena by a House Judiciary Chairman, Chairman Jim Jordan, who's looking into whether Willis' office misused federal funds. So here to react is lawyer and former Georgia Congressman Doug Collins. Uh, great to have you with us. So let's talk about this from Jim Jordan in the U.S. Congress first. Uh, the role that federal funds have played in this investigation and this case and whether or not they've been misused. Tell us about that. Yeah, I think really what we're looking at here is just another attack on the what Fonnie Willis has done and, and denied or tried to deny until it came out recently that there was any contact with Washington and, and funds that are made available to a district attorney's office to prosecute cases and how were they actually intertwined. Uh, it's going to be hard, frankly, from a you know, former member, I was ranking member with Jim on judiciary. It's going to be hard to get her to participate in this given the case ongoing. But laying the groundwork, threatening contempt is exactly what needs to be done because you just can't ignore what Congress is doing looking into this. And I believe it did come up that there were several trips to Washington, D.C., either Nathan Wade or Fonnie Willis or both. And the question is, who did they meet with in Washington, D.C. during right. the, the origination of this case? Here's what Jim Jordan has written in the subpoena to Willis. Uh, she has until March 28th to comply, by the way. He wrote, the committee has yet to receive any additional response materials in the three weeks since your initial response. If you fail to do so, the committee will consider taking further action, such as the invocation of a contempt of Congress proceeding. That's what you were talking about, contempt of Congress. But now I'd love, you know, Congressman, I know you serve in the United States Congress. You're familiar with Georgia. There's also accountability potentially for Fonnie Willis in the state of Georgia, where there's a Georgia Senate um, investigation as well. What power would they have? Everybody's pointing to the strong language the judge used, kind of rebuking her, while not removing her, rebuking her and her behavior. Well, what would that add up to? What can the Georgia Senate do to Fonnie Willis? Well, see, and that's going to be an, an interesting uh, perspective is how they put forward because there's so many options still out there. Well, they have just uh, introduced a new prosecuting uh, account, accountability council, if you put it that way. The Senate is gathering information and, and putting it under oath that can then also possibly lead to bar or disbarment. And I think that's going to be something that uh, is very much on the table for both Nathan Wade and Fonnie Willis at this point that they've got to look at. It's also, remember, Will, I want to point out for somebody, this is a second time in this case that a judge in Fulton County has basically slammed Fonnie Willis's behavior. She, it happened on Judge McBurney when she got involved with uh, the Lieutenant Governor uh, Bert, uh, Bert Jones and was banned from uh, prosecuting or attempting to prosecute him because she participated politically against him. And now this. This is building up. This is not a good day for Fonnie Willis, no matter how they want to spin it, because when the judge says there's an odor, uh, basically, about this case, they got jury issues to deal with. They got to have appeal issues. The next big thing for everybody to watch is will this judge allow a certificate of immediate review to go ahead on this appeal, which will definitely come in this. And if he mm. does, then this case could be delayed in death. You know, the thing about her behavior, though, Doug, is while it might offend the illegal community, it might offend politicians, and maybe there's some accountability, the question is, does it offend the electorate? Because that that is a, yeah. a democratically elected position in Fulton County, as in so many places, and whether or not that performance by Fonnie Willis plays with the voters in Fulton County. Uh, Doug, we got to leave it there, but we'll yeah. talk to you again next time. Thank you. Sounds good. Take care. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.